if those eyes are real and they look like human eyes or even like a little bit cyberpunk, but not exactly human, dude, I'm getting that shit. I want to fucking see a mile. I want to see in the dark. And if you're 22 or if you're 35 or 45, you're not taking your real eyes out for shit. They're like, well, there's a 0.001% that surgery goes wrong and you die. You never can see again. Fuck that. But if you're 87 and you need a fucking, you know, you can't even see anymore. I'm getting the fucking cybernetic eyes. So the cybernetic stuff is going to start this process, which has a distinct end. And that process is replacing human parts with machine parts until we can scan your brain, know exactly every detail of your brain that we need to simulate your entire you, because everything about you that's you is entirely enclosed in this, period. Once we have the scanning technology and the AI tech to do that, you can take your brain and download it into a robot body and have a separate copy of your brain doing one of two things. One is sitting dormantly in the cloud so that when your robot body gets crushed by a boulder because you decided to climb Mount Everest, you wake up in a bed and you're like, what the fuck? Where was I? And they're like, but you climb you Mount Everest, you bed? die. Yes, you do. I. This is not a philosophical debate at all. This is a, this is a giant red herring. I'll take this one on the chin. Now I'm getting really pumped. Ah! <laughs> I can tell. This is the most animated you've been. What happens if you have a biological you and someone scans your brain and puts that brain in a robot body and turns it off. Which one's the real you? There's a categorically correct answer to this question. Both. There's two of you now. They're both you. They're both going to feel exactly like you did just before they copied the brain. So if the real you dies fucking on Mount Everest, and then you get uploaded to a new robot and you wake up in a hospital bed and they're like, hey, you died on Mount Everest.